now then. So, um, yes, this is a little different to my usual videos. I don't normally do videos like this. Um, I don't really like to talk in videos, but I was having a conversation with a chap in the comments section. Uh, DJW, I will leave a link in the description to his channel. He made a really cool little video about um, Yorkshire dialects, which I will leave a link to. And um, yeah, we, we got chatting and I mentioned a book that I have, which unfortunately, typically I can't find it. It's vanished. <laughs> I have no idea where it's gone. I've searched high and low and the heck can I find it so I have managed to do one better though I have found the book and not only have I found it I can leave a link in the description so that you can actually go and read it for free because it is on Google Archive so the book is A Garland of Poetry by Abraham Holroyd and it's a pretty old book and it's not the easiest of things to read. Um, now, I should probably mention I am from North East Yorkshire. So we have different accents. I believe DJW is from um, West Yorkshire. And so there is a bit of a difference between our accents and I do kind of have a bit of a, a weird accent anyway. <laughs> so, but I am from Yorkshire. Um, I'm from the, the Moors kind of area. So it's not going to be the easiest for me to do because this poem is actually using the Bradford accent. So it's it's going to be a bit tricky for me to get. So I will sound, I'm not going to sound like a Bradford um, person say, saying this, but anyway, <laughs> uh, I think DJ might have DJW might have a better chance of doing this than me, but I'll give it a go for you. It is pretty good. So this is our Maggie, and it's, I can't read the, the name of who it's by. It's Edmund something, and this is from Bradford. So I believe she, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's quite hard to read. I believe she Maggie is caught in, for she dresses herself so smart, and she always runs run into the window where only your chaps about. So she will not wear a shawl, but does no, but dons a bonnet instead, and laps a can in a gown, and she goes to weaving shed. Over a nail with sodden hair, and cheeks like a summer's cherry, and lips fair as in for kissing, and seen as black and as merry. So she takes a knit into the meadow, and sits in a shady newark, and knits while she sighs and watches, with dreamy lingering look. Thus knitting, sighing and watching, she she is watching softened meadow grass, listening to Murmur's brooklet and waiting for sweethearts to pass. She, she drops her work and the apron and glints sat on the settled sun and wonders if she goes a carting where his long day's work is done. But soon she hears ta chap's footsteps are coming, so, so she rises with modest grace our Maggie, the sly loving lassie, for shame of thy bashful face. She frames, oh sorry, she frames to be going homewards, and he lits of a style, yeah, he lits of a style, but when he comes, I'm into, onto, sorry, yeah, but when she, but when he comes onto, she gives him a, sit, she gives him such a smile. Sorry, it's really hard to read. <laughs> when he passes his arms around her and she creeps lands up, she creeps up his side and loves his head on his waistcoat and walks with an air of pride. But oh, you should see her, her glances and oh, you should hear him kiss. But when they part one another, if she isn't a carting, who is? <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I probably butchered that terribly. But um, I will leave a link in the description for you so you can go and find it for yourself. Um, there's a lot of poems in here. I don't know if you can see my phone. I know it's a horrible mess. But yeah, there's a whole lot of poems there you can read for free. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, that was quite fun. So I, I will see you all another time I am going to be putting out more videos and maybe even doing a few more videos like this who knows so yeah catch you later then ta-ta